Number 6 from exercise 12, right? Ok, goed. So hierdie ene is een klein bykie meer ingewikkeld, want daar is nie een manier om om te omseil nie. Jy gaan met a break moet wat, you're going to have to use a fraction. So you can either write it as y is equal to negative 3x over 2, or you could have written x is equal to 2y over 3. I prefer this one, simply because then we're not working with a negative and a fraction. Okay, but you could have used either one of those. Okay, so sien jylle allemaal hoek waar die x is gelijk aan 2y op 3 uitgekom het. I just took the 2y over, became positive 2y, and then I divide by 3 on both sides to get that fraction. And this, I have to go substitute there and there. Want daar is 2 x'e in die vergelijking. If you wanted to use this one, kom nou, you had to go and substitute it there and there. Goed. Maar gelukkig doen ons nie nou dit is, so kom ons kyk net gauw. Hierdie ene gaan ons nou doen 2i op 3 kwadraat. Use your brackets. If it was a negative, the negative would have been in the bracket as well. Die jylle ding gekwadreer. Minus 3y times 2y over 3. Sien jylle, ek skuif nou die i bykie voor en toe. Laat my hakkie nie in die middel van die term staan nie. Dat het die begin van die term is, en aan die haak. Doesn't matter, but it just makes it easier to read. Because else you might forget to multiply the y into the bracket as well. En hierdie term bly net so. Ok, and let's do some simplification on that before we, before we um, simplify the whole thing. So hierdie gaan wees 4i kwadraat op 9, minus the 3 and the 3 cancels out. Do you see? 3 times the third is 1. En daar ene gaan boon toe en onthou van jou minus. So dan gaan hy net wees 2i kwadraat. Do you all see where I got that? Ja? Ok. Plus 2i kwadraat is gelijk aan 4. Lucky for us. These cancel out. So then I'm left with 4y squared over 9 minus 4 is equal to 0. And now I go and I multiply by 9 om ons later ook van my hakkie, ach van my breek. You could factorize it from here, but I'm going to divide by 4 first. Okay? Divide by 4? Nice, yeah. Do you guys agree that's the difference between two squares? So then I have two values for y. And what must I remember? My two values for x. Okay, so I'm somewhere going to use this one. Did I copy it right now? Yeah. 